student. I want to continue the last lesson that's about the ripple tank. Okay, let's see the diagram for ripple tank. This one is a back view. Another one is a side view. So from here at the top, we just put on the water. After that, they got water together with the dipper. Then after that, they will start the power supply. After that, they will vibrate. Just vibrate at the surface. So depend for your dipper. If your dipper is a plane, then produce is a straight line. If your dipper is a spherical, then they produce to the circle shape. So let's see here. Okay, can you see the diagram? They just vibrate. Okay, this one is a spherical. So you find it the circle. So I repeat again. So I want you to see. Can you see the dark and also bright? Dark and also bright. So this one is a wave pattern. Okay. Later, although it's a plane, although it's a circle, they also produce is a dark and also the bright. Okay, from the diagram there, we see the wave pattern is a bright and also dark fringes, is it? So this one, bright and dark fringes, actually, there's a same like the uh, the wave pattern. The wave pattern is a transverse wave. This one is a water. So when they pass through the crest, all the light, they will focus to one point. Okay, when they pass through the truth, all the wave they will divert far away from the point. So that's why now we're going to show the arrow. Okay, so this light light ray, when they pass through the crest, all will focus to one point. So this one, and the second part, can you see the second part? Second part, this part means, okay, this part is a one straight line. The red color light beside that, there's a far away, is it? So this part they produce is a dark fringes so from here first part is a bright the rest second one should be the dark so they will continuous you will see bright and dark bright and dark so this one is a diagram when we draw the ripple tank you must draw about the lamp okay after that we got battery or you say you join with the power supply okay after that the wire they join with the motor rubber band after this one should be the water so now should be the screen then we see the uh, the water wave diagram should be the one straight line, straight line by straight line. This one's a plain wave. After that, product is a bright and also dark fringes. Okay, then we go through the troboscope. Troboscope must be together with the ripple tank. When we just mentioned when using the ripple tank, lah. Why must mention the troboscope? This one is a troboscope, ah. Function for troboscope is want to freeze the water pattern. Can you see the water pattern that keep moving, keep vibrate? So like this, we cannot measure the wavelength. So we're using the troboscope uh, to freeze it. How they go to freeze it? You must rotate the troboscope. When they rotate until the frequency of the wave, same like the frequency of the troboscope, then you find the pattern of the wave, water wave that will stop. So when it just stops, that means we can sketch. Where is the lambda, is it? So from here, when you do the experiment, when we do about the river tank calculation, we might mention about the troposcope. If you don't have troposcope, means this one experiment is not function. So when I just mentioned the troposcope, so remember the frequency will be changes. Okay, how to changes? Number of the slit need to multiply the rotation of the frequency. So if I say this one is a 12 hertz, okay? These are... Uh, the wave of the water is a 12, volt, uh, 12 hertz. Okay, but I'm using troposcope. So you must know the troposcope or how many slit. For this one, they got 12 slit. So you need to multiply 12. After that, you get the new frequency. Okay, let's see the example question. Okay, example 5. They're using the mechanical troposcope. So we're using troposcope. That means you need to use the formula. Mechanical troposcope. After that, they got eight slit and also rotate five frequency. So that means you cannot say frequency just five. You must go to multiply. Now your new frequency must be eight multiplied to the five. That's a 40 hertz. Okay, after that, the troposcope to observe the water wave. The observer notes there are six successive bright band. Okay, the distance is the 12 cm. Six successive bright band and not lambda. Okay, we must know 12 cm inside got how many lambda? Six successive. So I know now I show the diagram. Okay, this one means sus, uh, six successive bright fringes. So you see the first one until the last one, we got six band here. Okay, between the band, we need to count lambda is between the band. So center to center, then we count there's a one lambda. So from here, 12 cm actually inside got 
five of the wavelength. Okay, remember if I say seven successive bright band, that means inside got six lambda. Okay, you need to minus one because we want to count is a distance between. Okay, so from here the info, we got frequency. Then after that we got lambda already. They need to find about the speed. V equal f lambda. Okay, so we just apply frequency forty. Okay, lambda is just a I think there's a 12 cm, is it 12 cm over 5? Okay, 12 cm over 5, there's a 2.4. Okay, after that, uh, there's a 40. And I'm going to check first, this is 12 cm. Okay, example 5. Okay, example 5, 12 cm over 5, not 16, uh, 12 cm over 5, there's a 2.4. After that, 40 multiplied 2.4, so the answer is 96 cm s negative 1. So this one is the an answer. How many to change this part? How to change 16 become 12, not 16. Okay, this one is the an answer tutorial for 5.1. Question 1 until question 10, objective answer. If you got any problem you want to ask how to solve this one problem, you can PM me the question, I will solve for you. Okay, then we're going to see the structure. Okay, now the figure, they show the graph is a this displacement distance remember displacement distance that means we just can find about the wavelength we cannot find about the period okay this one's a transverse wave first one they call you mark on the graph okay the direction vibration of the particle the particle how to move okay remember the particle it never move together with the wave they just vibrate up and down so we just draw the arrow okay draw the arrow then this one is a particle vibration Okay, the next one they call you to write the direction of the wave propagate. Okay, how about the wave to move? The wave is always moved to the right hand side, one direction only. So we just show, okay, this one is a wave propagate. Okay, number two, you need to show the two point vibrate in the phrase. So we just got two phrases only. Either you draw about the crest, either you draw about the truth. So from here, we just show, okay, this one is a two same phrase. Okay, B. Give one example of the transverse wave. Okay, transverse wave, we just got two from our syllabus. So, there's a water wave and also the light wave. So, we just mentioned one. Okay, determine the amplitude. So, this one is a diagram. The amplitude is a maximum displacement from, this, uh, from the equilibrium position. So, there's a 12 cm. Okay, wavelength. Wavelength means one complete oscillation. From zero to the eight, there's just half. Then you do the 16, that means you are complete one. So the answer should be 16 meter. Okay, what is the speed of the wave when the frequency is a 25 hertz? So that means we're using V equal F lambda to find out what is the speed. Okay, so 25, that is a hertz multiplied to the 16 meter. So I get 400 meter per second. Give one example for natural phenomena to show that wave transfer energy. So we need to go and think about a simple one. How come the situation they transfer the energy? Okay, one of the natural frequency, uh, the phenomena we can see there is a when the bulb is light out, then the light wave they transfer heat energy to the surrounding. When it just on, after that you go to touch, you find become hot already. Is it means they transfer the heat energy. So this one is a one of the Example for the natural phenomena. Okay, then we go to the last question. There's an essay question. So from here they said you need to uh, assign to investigate the properties of the wave. Okay, after that they use as a broadcasting. Broadcasting means the radio wave for communication one. So now the table they show the properties of the six type of the wave P, Q, R, S, T, and U. Okay, based on the table, you need to select most suitable wave. After that, could be used for the broadcasting and also the telecommunication. Okay, and also give the reason. Okay, first one, you're using see the wave. Okay, normally using the wave, we want to send the, the signal to the communication. So normally, we no need the medium to travel. If you need the medium to travel, that means in the vacuum, you cannot send the signal already. 
So from here, normally we are using the transverse wave. So if the question asks, what is your reason? So you're just talking about transverse wave and longitudinal wave. What's the difference? Just talking about the definition. Eh? Okay, how about the medium to travel? We no need medium to travel. If no need medium to travel, that means you can get the info faster. Okay, after that, speed of the wave must be as far as possible. So from here, we choose about 3 times 10 power 8. That's the speed of the light. Okay, penetrating power. Okay, normally the penetrating power, we do want too high and also do want too low. Penetrate means go through. If you go through whole uh, satellite, that means you cannot reflect them back. That means we cannot get the communication. We normally need send after that uh, reflected back. So from here, penetrate matter. So from here, we might absorb by the glass. We cannot absorb by the glass. Absorb cannot reflect anything. Reflect by the glass. Okay, normally we never using the glass. Is it? Glass cannot uh, cannot withstand the high temperature. Okay, after that, the penetrating power, we got weak some more. So from here later, we see how we choose it. So from this one question, normally it's a 10 marks. You need to prepare table form. Okay, let's see the first part. Okay, we go to transverse. Okay, we see how to explain. Okay, transverse wave. There's a travel perpendicular to the wave propagate. So this one is the reason why we choose the transverse wave. Okay, number two, not require the medium for propagate. Why are not required? Because they can travel through the vacuum. Okay, then the number three. Okay, number three, we choose about travel speed must as a light. Okay, light speed, why information can be sent immediately. Okay, penetrating power, we choose the medium one. Okay, medium penetrating power means the info. They're able to transmit easily from one location to another location. The send already, after that, they can reflect it back, go to another location. That means they never absorb all. Okay, now we go and see which one should be the most suitable. Okay, which one is not related, we go to cross first. Okay, for the first one, we need transverse, is it? So not related must be longitudinal. So we go to cross. Okay, material, we no need the material. So require, we go to cross. Speed, we want the speed of light. So the rest go to cross. Okay, penetrating power is the last one. We just want the medium. So not related, we go to cross. Okay, finally, we find it. The last one is the S. All the aspects, we are accepted. So from here, we choose the most suitable must be the S. So last part, the most suitable wave is the S because. Okay, when because, you need to repeat all the aspects just now you mentioned. So you just say because there's a transverse wave, not require medium for propagate, move in the speed of light and in medium of penetrating power. So this one is an answer for 5.1 tutorial. So hopefully you understand about it. Thank you for your watching.